Hey everyone, it's great to see you back on Generative AI. I hope your day has been going smoothly so far. I was just finishing up a quick workout and checking my messages when I saw an announcement from Prime Intellect about a new platform called Intellect2. It really felt like a moment worth pausing for. So grab your coffee or tea, settle in, and let's explore what decentralized intelligence could mean for all of us. Intellect2 isn't just another centralized AI service. Think of all the times you've used a cloud-based chatbot or analytics tool. Data goes off to a remote server, gets processed, and then a response returns. While convenient, that model has drawbacks. Data privacy, vendor lock-in, and lack of transparency can be frustrating. Prime Intellect envisions a different approach. Distributing intelligence across many devices, each contributing securely and seamlessly. Imagine a scenario in scientific research where a team of climatologists around the world collaborates on weather prediction models. Traditionally, they either gather data on centralized supercomputers or share code and wait for a single entity to run experiments. With Intellect2, each researcher maintains a local node on their workstation or cluster. That node trains on local data, shares encrypted model updates, and collectively builds a global model without exposing raw information. At a high level, Intellect2 uses a layered architecture. The foundation is a consensus layer that verifies contributions from each node using a protocol called proof of contribution. Nodes earn reputation by providing accurate and timely updates. This is critical because decentralized systems are vulnerable to malicious actors. The consensus mechanism ensures that only validated updates make it into the global model, protecting against corrupted gradients or poisoned data. On top of consensus sits the inference layer. When you submit a query, whether it's a text question, image recognition request, or predictive task, Multiple nodes collaborate to process it. The system forms a directed acyclic graph of operations, dynamically selecting nodes based on trust scores, availability, and network latency. Each node computes a portion of the task, then passes intermediate results until the final output is assembled and returned to you in near real time. Data sovereignty is one of Intellect2's biggest promises. In most AI services, you upload raw data to a provider who owns and processes it behind closed doors. Here, you keep your data locally. Suppose you run a healthcare clinic with sensitive patient information. You can set up a node inside your secure environment. That node shares only encrypted training updates, never actual patient records. Other participants aggregate those encrypted updates to refine the global model, preserving privacy. Decentralized intelligence extends beyond research. Picture a smart home environment where all devices, thermostats, security cameras, voice assistants, form a local mesh network. Instead of sending every sensor reading off to distant servers, each device becomes an inference node. When you ask your smart speaker to adjust the temperature, local context and on-device models handle it. Even if your internet connection falters, your home can still function intelligently and autonomously. Another practical scenario is localized recommendation systems. Instead of a social network feeding a generic algorithm, communities could run Intellect2 clusters that learn from local content, hobby blogs, forum posts, and shared media. A neighborhood photography club, for example, could generate recommendations for gear, shooting locations, and editing tips based on collective experience. That localized relevance fosters deeper engagement, stronger trust, and more meaningful interactions than one-size-fits-all algorithms. Of course, decentralized training presents challenges, especially around communication overhead. Sending large model updates among numerous nodes can strain bandwidth. Intellect2 addresses this using gossip protocols and incremental update strategies. Instead of broadcasting full gradients to everyone, nodes share compressed updates with a subset of peers in each round. Over time, updates diffuse across the network. This reduces bandwidth usage without sacrificing convergence speed or model quality. Incentives are crucial for sustaining participation. In a decentralized model, you need to reward honest contributions and discourage free riders or malicious actors. Intellect2 introduces a token-based economy. 
Nodes earn tokens for verified contributions, accurate gradients, successful inference tasks, or peer auditing. You can redeem tokens for priority inference time, access to premium features, or even exchange them for computing credits. That incentive aligns participants towards supporting the network and maintaining high standards of performance. Security and trust go hand in hand. Distributed learning systems face threats like model poisoning, where attackers inject malicious gradients. Intellect 2 builds multiple safeguards. Peer auditing lets nodes randomly verify each other's contributions. Encrypted aggregation ensures that individual updates remain confidential until combined. Hardware-based trusted execution environments provide additional protection, enabling sensitive computations inside secure enclaves. Together, these defenses make the network robust against adversarial attacks. Developer experience is another focus. Setting up distributed training often means configuring clusters, networking, and low-level protocols. Intellect2 simplifies this with high-level APIs. To launch a training job, you describe your model architecture, data sources, and desired decentralization level. Under the hood, the platform automatically provisions nodes, orchestrates communication, and manages cryptographic routines. You can focus on your model and data rather than worrying about cluster management and security details. As a starting point, Prime Intellect released a reference implementation and tutorials to guide newcomers. The reference code covers typical patterns like federated optimization, secure aggregation, and token reward flows. Tutorials show how to build decentralized sentiment analysis for distributed social media feeds, mesh-based traffic prediction for smart cities, and privacy-preserving health diagnostics. Each tutorial walks you through setup, code snippets, and best practices, making it easier to adopt decentralized workflows. Enterprises can deploy private Intellect2 networks behind their own firewalls. For organizations with strict compliance mandates, like finance, healthcare, or government, this option lets you harness decentralized intelligence while keeping complete control over infrastructure. Departments within a company can run specialized micro-models for their unique data. Legal teams fine-tune contract analysis models, manufacturing units optimize supply chain forecasts, and then share aggregated insights without exposing raw data sets. This fosters cross-department collaboration without centralizing sensitive information. In educational settings, Intellect2 offers exciting opportunities. University campuses could host campus-wide learning clusters where students and faculty collaborate on machine learning projects. A data science class might build a decentralized image classification model, with each student's laptop contributing training updates from locally stored datasets. As students see their contributions influence model accuracy, they learn hands-on about federated learning, consensus mechanisms, and privacy principles. This approach democratizes access to AI research and strengthens technical skills. Ethical considerations come into sharper focus in decentralized systems. Intellect2 promotes transparency by making contributions and inference paths auditable. You can inspect which nodes participated in generating a decision and trace data provenance. In centralized systems, such insights are often hidden behind proprietary black boxes. With a tamper-evident ledger recording every model update and network transaction, it becomes easier to detect bias, ensure fairness, and build trust among participants. This level of auditability can be a game changer in regulated industries. Of course, decentralized networks require governance. Who decides protocol upgrades, permission policies, or acceptable applications? Prime Intellect implements a governance protocol where token holders vote on key proposals. When someone suggests changing an incentive schedule or adding a new model variant, the proposal enters a staging phase. Simulated outcomes help evaluate community impact. If consensus emerges, the update moves forward. This democratic approach ensures that the network evolves in ways aligned with participant interests, rather than a single authority's agenda. Integration with existing infrastructures often poses challenges. Many companies have legacy machine learning pipelines built around centralized cloud services. Transitioning to a decentralized model means rethinking data pipelines, updating security policies, and training staff. 
Prime Intellect offers middleware connectors that translate traditional API calls into decentralized equivalents. A standard training pipeline that posts data to a central endpoint can be redirected through these connectors to interact with the Intellect2 network, minimizing disruptions during migration. Looking ahead, the potential applications of Intellect2 feel almost limitless. We could see specialized communities forming around niche domains, citizen scientists collaborating on environmental monitoring, decentralized drug discovery networks, pooling experimental data, or open source intelligence platforms for tracking global health trends. Each micro community builds models tailored to local data distributions. When combined, these micro models contribute to a global meta model that captures broader patterns while preserving individual privacy and control. One fascinating frontier is hybrid intelligence, blending human expertise with decentralized AI. In healthcare, for example, physicians could annotate patient scans and share those annotations with local inference nodes. Micro models trained on those annotations assist with diagnostics, while doctors provide feedback and context. Over time, AI learns to emulate expert reasoning, and physicians benefit from quicker second opinions. The collaboration between human insight and machine efficiency yields outcomes neither could achieve alone, pushing boundaries in diagnostics and treatment planning. As we consider success, community adoption and continuous improvement are vital. Prime Intellect has laid the foundation by open sourcing core components, hosting hackathons, and partnering with academic institutions. Pilot programs in fields like agriculture, finance, and social services have shown encouraging results. Improved data privacy, cost savings, and innovative applications that weren't possible with centralized models. Early participants report that seeing their local data drive collective insights fosters a strong sense of ownership and purpose, fueling further engagement. Getting started with Intellect2 is surprisingly straightforward. First, head to the Prime Intellect Developer Portal and sign up for a free tier. You'll find documentation, code samples, and community forums. Next, install the Intellect2 client on your machine or cloud environment. Follow a quick start tutorial. Set up a simple decentralized training job, perhaps a basic image classifier trained on local data. After that, experiment with inference tasks. Send queries and watch responses come back from multiple nodes, demonstrating the power of distributed collaboration. As you explore, keep best practices in mind. Data quality is crucial. Garbage in, garbage out still applies. Carefully curate local data sets, ensure proper labeling, and watch out for biases. Use transparency tools to audit inference paths and data provenance. Engage with the community governance process. Participate in votes, discuss proposals, and contribute to protocol development. By staying active, you help guide the platform's evolution and ensure it serves collective interests rather than slipping into fragmented or malicious use. While decentralized intelligence holds great promise, it isn't a cure-all. Some workloads will still favor centralized systems, especially when ultra-low latency or extremely high reliability is required. Latency across distributed nodes can be unpredictable depending on network conditions. Ensuring consistent performance worldwide remains a challenge. Additionally, regulatory frameworks around cross-border data sharing vary by region, so participants must navigate complex legal landscapes. Despite these hurdles, the benefits of privacy, collaboration, and resilience make decentralized networks an attractive complement to existing solutions. I'm genuinely excited by Prime Intellect's vision with Intellect2. We're witnessing a shift from AI as a service to AI as a shared public good. Instead of confining intelligence within a few data centers, we're building a mesh of distributed minds that learn together. That mesh respects privacy, fosters collaboration, and democratizes access to powerful algorithms. It's a concept that can transform industries, empower individuals, and reshape how we think about data and computation. Whether you're an entrepreneur, a researcher, or simply an AI enthusiast, now is the time to get involved. Join the Intellect2 community forums, contribute to discussions, and share your ideas. Spin up a test node, be it on your personal computer, a local server, 
or even a smartphone if you want to experiment at the edge. Try building a simple model, participate in inference tasks, or propose enhancements to the protocol. Every contribution helps strengthen this emerging network and unlock new possibilities for collective intelligence. In the coming months, I'll be diving deeper into specific aspects of Intellect 2. Detailed tutorials on building mesh-based models, interviews with early adopters, and explorations of advanced topics like cross-domain micro-model integration. If there are particular use cases you're curious about, healthcare, education, creative arts, let me know in the comments. I want this channel to be a collaborative space where we learn and build together, harnessing the potential of decentralized intelligence alongside a growing global community. Thanks for spending this time with me and exploring the future of AI. If this video inspired you or sparked new ideas, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Generative AI, and share your thoughts below. How do you envision decentralized models influencing your work or community? What challenges do you foresee and how might we address them? Let me know. Your insights help shape our journey forward. Until next time, stay curious, keep experimenting, and remember that the power of collective intelligence lies in collaboration, transparency, and shared purpose. See you soon, and let's embrace this new era of decentralized AI together. Stay innovative and keep exploring the exciting potential of Intellect 2 together, always endlessly.